Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishash. I welcome you all in my channel Tanmay Care. Today's topic of discussion is one MCQ and the question is in front of you. What is the major product of this reaction? I request you student please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get please write in the comment box along with few words as explanation. I believe you have tried so let's start. Let's look at the reaction student little carefully. So this is actually aromatic molecule attached to OME, OME, methyl and CO2H. It reacts with BH3SME2 and what is the product here? Okay, obvious. and here first you should know a little bit about boron or if I say BH3SME2. Now if you look at this BH3 molecule, it has six electron in its outermost valence shell because three the covalent bond, two electron from each. So total six electron, but still this boron is not octet filled. So in order to fulfill its octet, what it does, it get attached with a Lewis base. So this boron is actually Lewis acidic and it at get attached from adapt with this Lewis base, I mean this sulfur. So it donates its pair of electron and form this BH3SME2 adapt. So in this way both stabilize. So that is actually the role of this SME2. So it stabilizes the reagent and THF is the solvent here. Now this we understand, but basically boron is a BH3 is actually Lewis acidic in nature and actually not only this in some example you can expect this option also B2H6. So B in order to uh, deal with this electron deficiency I mean 6 electron they do a dimerization where you can expect 3 center 2 electron bond such that I mean banana bond such that every boron here two borons are there, every boron can fulfill its octet to some extent. It's not very stable, but to some extent. Okay, so that's a tendency because of this nature, boron have a tendency to react with any electron rich molecule which can behave as Lewis base and this is happening. And by the way, second thing, if you look at the bonding, if I say BH bond, then this boron hydrogen bonds polarity is little different. I mean boron is delta positive, hydrogen is delta negative. And if you look at uh, any OH, NH, etc. bond, so oxygen is delta negative, hydrogen is delta positive. Why? This is because difference in electronegativity. Oxygen is more electronegative than hydrogen, so this kind of polarity happen. And if you take this boron hydrogen, boron is actually less electronegative. I mean, you may consider a little more metallic compared to hydrogen. So that's why boron gives electron density to hydrogen and this BH bond is nothing but student it has a hydride character and we know that when hydride react with a polar hydrogen I mean this OH bond so what can happen these hydrogen these hydrogen react together and it can ultimately result in the evolution of hydrogen gas means hydride plus proton combination you may think like that so this is the thing now if you look at this molecule here, there is a carboxyl group and we know carboxylic acid is weaker acid but this bond is significantly polar. I mean it can generate delta H plus. Now these H plus can react with one equivalent of hydrogen of this BH3 and both can produce this hydrogen gas it will come out. So after this what is the fate of this COOH so it is O minus. And in the medium, you can expect there is BH2, very low is electron deficient. So, this actually this forms a covalent bond. This O minus forms a covalent bond with this BH2. Fine, this charge is gone. Now, still, this boron is electron deficient, I agree. So, that deficiency is somehow neutralized by the lone pair donation from this oxygen. So, this donation, what is the consequence? By the way, there is an aromatic ring I am not drawing. You may consider I am focusing on here because reaction is will happen on this carboxylic acid group only. So this is AR, there is a double bond O, there is carbon oxygen, this boron and these oxygen have donated its one lone pair of electron. So consequently there is a double bond and boron have little formal negative charge because it, it got some electron density and oxygen have donated so it has a deficiency which is designated by this formal positive charge. But after getting these hydrogen these uh, negative charge, this hydrogen transfer became easier because as I told it is delta negative and remember student this is nucleophilic. This hydrogen actually hydride, 
I guess you have hydride one reagent called sodium borohydride. Although it's different because it's an sp3 boron center, sp3 BH bond act as a hydride source. Here, this hydrogen, this BH can also act as hydrogen this hydride because this bonds of hydration is sp2 now so it act as a hydride so it will attack here so if it attacks this bond gets open up so ultimately what is the product here you can expect er c double bond o o minus there is a hydrogen transferred here so this is a boron fine and here double bond sorry not boron there is an oxygen which is attached to this boron and it you may expect this way this is boron still another one hydrogen remaining there is a double bond with this oxygen oxygen carrying positive charge this is neutral now see here one o minus so this is electron rich so another o minus kind of molecule can come and coordinate this boron to to decrease or neutralize its deficiency now consequently what happened these hydrogen student could further be transferred so you can expect okay it could be transferred again here so again here and this bond breaks down from here so ultimately what is the product ar i am writing as it is c o minus two hydrogen transferred to this carbon center by the boron and ultimately whatever this boron part come out agree now uh, and in the next step you can see there is a workup so from workup you can expect this corresponding alcohol let me draw the molecular structure properly so here ome this part is also ome this is methyl and this carboxylic acid is converted into ch2oh reduction so actually this carboxyl group is reduced into ch2oh in presence of this ph3 where you may expect the first equivalent comes out as a hydrogen gas and two remaining equivalent hydrogens are transferred this carbon center although mechanism is little difficult complicated but i am giving you a very simplified way to remember the overall chemistry now you may ask one thing that sir why this is happening what is the driving force or what is the fate of this boron remember one thing boron is electron deficient it is actually sextate just sometime before i have shown that it is sextate boron valence is 3 so that's why boron cannot fulfill its octet properly for that purpose what it does it prefers to form this boron prefers to form bond with oxygen why oxygen because you may consider there are three oxygen agree now so still it is a six electron species octet not killed but every elect oxygen has one two lone pairs of electrons and one of them could be donated to the vacant p orbital of boron so three resonance possible so one resonance from this side another one resonance you can expect from this side another from this side so these back bonding or donation of electron density from oxygen to boron decreases the electron deficiency of this boron means it is not that much electron deficient or lewis acidic like the bh3 so that's why boron for boron one word is used it is oxophilic or oxygen loving it prefers to have oxygen rather than this hydrogen so during this reaction this hydride is transferred to carbon and the oxygen attached to carbon is taken by the boron and obviously every intermediate is neutralized during workup and generally you can expect slightly acidic workup or very mild alkaline workup you can do now in this workup condition if you take weakly acidic it will not be hydrolyzed it is not that much easy because of this donation i mean this lone pair donation to this benzene nucleus this carbon oxygen bond has some partial double bond character that is true for this bond also so that's why both bonds are not that much weaker so hydrolysis is not that much easier second thing this nucleophilic attack on methyl student not that much easy under this workup condition and remember workup condition are chosen as mild as possible such that side reaction does not happen and we get our expected product and weakly alkaline can solve every problem so here what is the product so you can expect that sir this is option b is the right answer ch2oh happens now if you do not know can you guess it little bit yes first you can guess bh3 is the main reagent for reduction first acid base reaction will be there because carboxylic acid proton this is a very polar so one equivalent 
acid based worker now next phase so boron hydrogen gone carboxylic acid o minus so they'll form bond next these hydride will be transferred very easily to this carboxylic acid and produced that intermediate i mean you may consider these uh, these intermediate okay so first sorry first this is and second intermediate is this one second step this intermediate now it will react further because still one equivalent of hydride is remaining and aldehyde reacts very well with boron hydrogen bond to produce the reduced form i mean aldehyde because we know aldehyde could very easily be reduced into sodium borohydride that is also a vh bond and vh bond is reducing it's an hydride nature so this is this will be the product so it cannot be the product if it produces also that will be converted to this option b now what about option c and d in option c and d c this ether bond this bond is broken student it is not expected not possible here one broken and here both of these ome both ether groups are broken so this is not stable so this is the overall justification as well as explanation for this problem i believe this video will be useful for you thanks for watching see you in my next video bye bye